I've met people from all over the world, experienced both good and bad, and witnessed the have and have nots, more vivid than one can imagine. I've taken many lessons from my time in uniform, service in our great country, but I want to leave five simple ones to share with you today on Veterans Day as well as the 364 days of the year. One, be gracious to all and grateful to God for we've all been given great gifts. Was always taught to treat people what they are, what they are capable of being, and it will better enable them to become what they ought to be. Ask yourself, are you that person that's a negative influence or prohibitor that keeps so far from achieving? Or are you that person that actually assists someone and helps them get that eternal vibe path to success? The high school graduation rate here in California is 83 percent, meaning almost two out of ten students won't finish high school. The number for six-year graduating rates for first-time, full-time students seeking bachelor's degree a four-year institution is 60% roughly. I mean, almost four out of ten won't graduate in six years. Again, understanding the huge responsibilities that goes with teaching, my hat off to the teachers here at the school, the Fulton School District. Two, if you want respect, give it to others and earn yours. It's much easier to return kindness and respect to a person that gives you kindness and respect. Always remember to respect others. Three, we can accomplish more as a team than we can do alone. Sometimes selfless service can be selfish. Ask yourself, is it important that you do it or that it get done? Just giving you a person being yet on my own, took, became a single dad, my kids were 11 and 13, they're now 22 and 24. But I was going through things and say, hey, they're my kids, they're my responsibility, I had to do it. My friends looked at me and said, hey, you know you got help. My 14-year-old had ACL surgery and was going to physical therapy three times a week. I'm working at the Pentagon and have to go through DC traffic to get him to appointments. So I was putting a lot of stress on myself, a lot of stress on my kids. But finally, when I accepted help from my friends, it put a lot of less stress for me, a lot of stress in my home with my kids, and it made me a better father. The other point in this is, who are you developing and teaching what you know? Are you doing everything yourself? Keep in mind that you're doing so, you may be keeping us, someone else from developing. While serving on active duty, I was always taught two ranks up. My supervisors would empower me and develop me, and there was always a bond between the lead, the leader, and the lead. And as a team, we were able to accomplish more collectively. Always remember, work as a team and develop others. Four, pity doesn't help someone in need, action does. Cheerleaders are good in life, but sometimes you need someone to get off the sidelines and do more than words of encouragement. When I was deployed, I received tons of gifts and packages, often from people that I did not know personally or did not know me. I began to write them thank you letters, but I began to challenge them for being in service. And I would ask them questions, are you helping those who you see every day that are in need? Mayor Winokur and his wife were volunteers supported the Habitat for Humanity, Foolish and Cares, and Women Transition Living Center. Cheerleaders are good to have, but they don't enter the game. I encourage you all to find your own purpose and cause and be in service to those who are in need here in Fullerton. And last, whenever you find yourself, try to leave it better than you found it. In closing, Sidney Shelton said, our heroes are those who risk their lives every day to protect our world and make it a better place. I work every day in the Sergeant Paul Nakamon Reserve Center, and I thank Sergeant Paul Nakamon with great pride and honor for being in service. He was a combat medic from Santa Fe Springs, California, and he was the first Asian American to die in the Iraq War. But I also think of EMTs here in Fullerton that work here locally, and other municipalities, of the firefighters and law enforcement who risk their lives and who are in service every day. It is a great honor to recognize the fallen soldiers, and this is something that we must do. Our country remains free largely not only solely due to those in uniform when they lay down their lives to fight our nation's war, but our country is great because of the men she served in a multitude of different ways and from all different walks of life. Embrace America's diversity and those in service, such as the young JRTC students, the Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts, others such as 
those serving in veterans organizations and associations. Their different ethnicities, genders, religious affiliations, and sexual orientations. You teach the young you are in service. When you volunteer to clean up the parks and Fullerton, you are in service. When you respond to fires and other natural catastrophes, you are in service. When you answer the call of law enforcement, you are in service. You are in service when you make sandwiches for the homeless. When you assist the early or mobility challenged neighbors, as such as the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts do, you are in service. You are in service when you defend a classmate against rumors of bullying. You are in service because you are, you are doing good for someone other. Again, thanks for inviting me and allowing me to honor our veterans today with you today. Be in service. <laughs>